Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and today I will be discussing common misconceptions about rabbits. First misconception is that rabbits belong in a small wire-bottomed cage outside. This is false. Rabbits' hawks are very, very delicate and sensitive. They don't have padding like a dog's paws and therefore can get sore hawks from being on a wire-bottomed cage. So I definitely don't recommend wire-bottomed cages for rabbits. And also, rabbits do not belong in a small cage. They need lots and lots of space to run and play. As far as outside goes, some people are simply unable to keep their rabbits inside, although I always recommend housing your rabbit indoors if at all possible. The next very common myth is that rabbits eat tons of carrots and love them. Although rabbits do love carrots, carrots are very, very high in sugar and therefore should only be fed as an occasional treat for rabbit. The next misconception is people think rabbits are great children's pets because they think they're cheap, low maintenance, and short-term commitment. But this is all false. The reason they're not good for children is because most children are going to get very tired of the rabbits within the first week or month or so, and they're not gonna to wanna to take proper care of them anymore. Rabbits are a 10 plus year commitment as I have stated before, so they are not a short-term commitment at all. They are not low maintenance and require a lot of work and dedication, and they are also not cheap. They require quite a bit of money. Part of the reason rabbits cost a lot of money is because they need to go to the vet, and many people think they don't, but if a rabbit goes into GI stasis or gets some other kind of sickness, they will need to go to the vet because we, most people do not have the knowledge to treat this at home, and you shouldn't try to treat something serious like this at home. The next misconception is that rabbits should be fed water out of water bottles, and Water bottles are actually not good for rabbits. They pose a risk of dehydration because they do not supply enough water at once for the rabbit. And they also can grow very bad bacteria and like just gross stuff inside the walls of the water bottle. So I don't recommend these. And instead, I always advise everyone to use bowls rather than bottles. Another misconception is that rabbits love to be held and this is not true for most rabbits. Since rabbits are prey animals, they do not like being held and would much rather be on the ground because they feel much safer there. Now, I'm not saying that no rabbit is going to be like to be held. There are still many rabbits out there who love being held and cuddled, but these are rabbits who have good owners and that they love and trust. And like I said, not every rabbit is going to love being held. This is part of the reason why rabbits aren't good children's pets because children want little fluffy animals that they can cuddle and hold and just walk around with and stuff and rabbits aren't really like that. Sorry for the change in angles here, but I forgot to mention one very, very important misconception and that is that rabbits love to be held on their backs. Now this is false as all the other misconceptions obviously are, rabbits will appear to enjoy being held on their backs and appear to be very relaxed, but they're actually not. Instead, they are the opposite. They are so terrified that they just lay there perfectly still because they basically think they're going to die. And the reason they lay there so still is because they're terrified. So I never, ever, ever recommend doing this to your rabbit. If ever done, it would be by done by a vet in a very um, desperate situation. So never try to do this to your rabbit, please, because it is very, very terrifying for them. The last two go together, and that is that you should buy from a breeder, and it is perfectly okay to breed, and these are both false. Buying from a breeder um, supports the overpopulation of rabbits that we already have, because of this overpopulation, there are tons and tons of rabbits in shelters who need good homes. And so instead of buying from a breeder and supporting the overpopulation, you should instead rescue a rabbit and give that rabbit a good home that it needs. Also, breeding is not recommended by me or many other people in the rabbit community because, like I just said, there are tons and tons of rabbits in shelters, there's a huge overpopulation, and although it may seem so fun 
to breed these rabbits and get the cute little fluffy babies. I mean, I totally get how cute and fun it may be, but it's just not fair to other rabbits who need good homes. And rather than just producing more rabbits, you should go rescue other rabbits. Most people aren't gonna be able to keep the rabbits they breed anyway. So instead of that person who's gonna buy the rabbit from you, they could have instead gone and rescued a rabbit. Or if you're going to keep all the rabbits, why don't you just go rescue five rabbits rather than breeding five? I mean, come on guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of common rabbit misconceptions. Leave some you've heard in the comments below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for more videos.